Hi all, in this video I want to show you how you can create these artistic PCBs and in general add graphics or logos to your design. Please subscribe, I'm almost to 1000 subscribers. Okay, let's say you finished your circuit, you think it's all cool, you're comfortable with it, you uh, go to your 3D viewer, you see, okay, that's fine, and you want to add some graphics to it. Well. To do this, uh, we simply use the image converter uh, tool from KiCad. You just click to load source image, you select your image, and we have here our gecko. Uh, we can change uh, uh, its size, for example, uh, or we can also toggle the uh, aspect ratio if we want to stretch it. Uh, or the uh, black and white threshold which with this image doesn't work really because it's already black and white uh, but if you have a uh, colored one like this one now I'm gonna show you there we go if you have a colored one like this one then based on this slider you see that some uh, details will uh, show up or will uh, uh, go away um, so based on your preferences you can set the slider wherever you want we can also tick the negative box to show the negative counterpart and then we can select uh, uh, the layer where we want the image to be now I'm gonna leave it to silk screen we copy to the clipboard and then we simply paste to the uh, well it's too big <laughs> so we uh, resize it, we select a smaller number, and there we go. We have our beautiful Geeko here. As you can see, it looks pretty fine. You can also do Alt 3 to uh, show the 3D model. And as you can see, it's on the silk screen layer. Um, by the way, if you want to modify it, you can simply click and then press E. And then we can edit it uh, with the editor and uh, you can like modify as you wish if you want to remove something or you want to precise something uh, and yeah you can also save it as a footprint if you wish we can also untick the negative box to place it uh, as is uh, we always eliminate here the reference and there we go this is the 3d view uh, but yeah, but I like the one before um, and we can also uh, press F to flip the uh, image and we have it now it's in on the back of the PCB as I said before you can also place it on the copper layer but you will notice that uh, with this configuration it's not as shiny as the pads you have uh, in your PCB because it's covered with the solder mask. To fix this, we have to place our image uh, in the F mask layer. So we return to the image converter page and we select F mask. We copy to the clipboard and we place it uh, above our uh, image. Now at free as before. And there we go, now it's as shiny as the pads, you can see, we have uh, this golden geeko here. Now the thing I want you to note is that since uh, we are working with the copper layer and the mask layer, um, when we want to move our, our image, we have not to move it to a trace, because it will be electrically conductive. So now if I move like this, there is one big problem because our image will be like exposing this trace here of this pad. So if you're working the copper layer, uh, make sure your graphics do not cross any lines or are not in a copper core. Um, yeah, something like this. Of course, your results will also greatly vary on the surface finish you choose. And we can change the color of our uh, surface finish here on the 3D viewer. 
and now I will make it more silvery uh, you, like if you don't use enig which costs more obviously and here there it is the results which it's kind of too white now uh, and I'm gonna change it again to make it more silvery hmm, pretty close but you get a point you can change the color of your surface finish as you wish that, that's cool now of course you can also choose the color of your solder mask so for example let's make it red so let me write here the values and there we go and now it's red it's a super bright red but it's red <laughs> and yeah so you can make you can have a better uh, estimation of your result and speaking of great results you know who did a great job PCB way the sponsor of this video if you want really good looking PCB, I highly suggest to check PCBWay.com using the link in the description. They can also assemble PCBs for you or offer 3D printing and CNC machining with tons of material to choose with. Just check PCBWay.com, link in the description. Now, of course, we can also place uh, text and uh, shapes to our uh, copper layer, so we can, for example, um, type in something and then close it uh, with a rectangle as I did here um, but then it will be covered by the solder mask again so we do ctrl C ctrl V and we place it uh, above as we did with our Giko before and now we have to change it to the F mask layer uh, to do this we simply click on edit and then edit text and graphic properties then we tick select the timestamps only and then we can modify uh, whatever we want so we tick uh, whatever we want and now we can change it to the F mask layer uh, of course you can also change other things and um, yeah we click apply and as you can see it's now without the solder mask now the tool uh, we have just used is especially useful when we have multiple objects like this the random shapes that I made so for example I select only three of them and for some reason I don't want this to change layer we do as before we click on edit edit the text and graphic properties and we change the layer to the one we want for example the silk screen layer and as you can see now three of them are on the silk screen layer whereas the other one is on the copper layer now let me do Ctrl Z to show you one thing. As before, we can do Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then we can change the copies to the mask layer so that we can make it shiny, as you can see here on the 3D viewer. But we have fastest way to do this: just click on the shape and then tick the solder mask box. And as you can see now, if the world free, there we go we have our shape without solder mask the only difference is that the uh, F mask layer is embedded on the shape so we don't see the mask layer as we do with the other three shapes as I know this also works with traces so you just click on the trace and tick the solder uh, mask box and then you have your trace without solder mask now let's say you have some text on the silk screen layer you can do your some of things you can make it bold change fonts um, but you can also tick this knockout uh, box and you can see now this text will be surrounded with silk screen which is good if, if you want to make um, some labels uh, for your uh, pins or whatever you want and again, what if you want to change the font, like you scroll all the fonts and you don't like any of them, <laughs> you don't like any single one of them, what you can do? Well, you can do it in your favorite uh, font site, you click on download, just select your folder, uh, once it's finished, you can open the zip, and then you can simply uh, copy the file to the fonts folder in your PC which by the way is C Windows fonts and once you restart the keyhead 
uh, you can find your fonts here so apply and there we go we have our font that we downloaded previously if you think this was useful to you please subscribe i'm almost to 1000 subs so yeah let's reach it uh, thank you again and see you next time